Hello viewers. Hope all of you are doing well. Today our subject will be the mechanical testing. Mechanical testing is part of destructive testing. The mechanical testing for the welded joint is precisely our subject today. It is being carried out for welding procedure approval, for welder approval or for production quality approval. If it is used for welding procedure approval or welder approval, it is termed as weld coupon. If it is for checking the quality of the production welds, it is called production test coupon. Welding consumables manufacturers will carry out all the weld metal test for each consumable type. So this is to certify the quality of their consumables. Parent material is normally subjected to extensive testing prior to its acceptance. What are the types of mechanical test we are having? Tensile, bend, nick break, fracture, impact, hardness, macroscopic or microscopic and CTOD. We will go one by one through all the tests now. We will describe in brief for all the tests. Let us start with the tensile test. This tensile test stress is applied in opposite direction to pull the two ends apart. Of course all the test piece will be tear off after a certain load. At which load the test piece broken we need to measure that. It is used to assess the yield point of the specimen, the ultimate tensile strength, ductility of the specimen that means percentage elongation. The different types of tensile tests are traverse tensile test, all oil tensile test and cruciform test. You can see the uniaxial tensile test sample, the picture. A photo of a tensile testing machine has been given for your better visual. Here you can see the stress versus strain curve which is one of the basis of mechanical engineering. Uh, up to some extent uh, the stress and strain are exactly proportional. That means the load applied and extension is proportional. That means if the load is removed it will be go back to it old dimension. The limit up to where the stress and strain are maintained perfectly that point is called elastic limit. Beyond the elastic limit still the material can maintain the ratio after a few times it will be going to a permanent deformation. That point after what it is getting permanent deformation that means not regain its own shape that point is called point of yield and that stress is called yield stress and after yield stress if we put further force it will be broken and that point is called ultimate tensile stress or UTS. So you can see some kind of brittle fracture and deformation fracture. The rightmost uh, photo is for the deformation fracture and the left mode full and the left one you can see the brittle fracture. The reduction in the cross-sectional area indicates the ductile fracture. Steel specimen which do not exhibit any necking usually rejected. The ultimate tensile strength UTS measured by maximum load applied divided by least cross-sectional area. Percentage elongation or strain is measured by increase of gauge length multiplied by 100 divided by original length. The second test is bend test. The bend test is carried out to determine the soundness of the weld zone. The commonly applied bend test is the traverse bend test. There are three ways to perform this type of bend test. The root bend test, face bend test and side bend test. The specimen width of the bend test is usually at least 1.5 times the thickness and the weld reinforcement is usually dressed flashed on both sides. The specimen are usually bent through 90 degree, 120 degree, 135 degree and 180 degree. You can see the photo of a bending machine. You can see a schematic diagram of uh, bending. The first one is the specimen, then the preparation, then the testing. When the bend is placed on the face side, it is face bend and when 
the bend is placed on the root side it is root bend here are two three more uh, photos for your reference for bending before testing the specimen between the former and the guide if there is a crack assess the crack came from the weld zone or from the parent metal based on that the welding is getting accepted or rejected impact test impact test is basically to test the toughness of the material and impact test is the strength of the material at negative temperature always whenever we say impact test values we need to mention the temperature without mentioning temperature the toughness value is incomplete in mechanical engineering impact test is done by applying sudden load on the test specimen the suddenly applied load is also termed as impact load there are many ways impact tests can be done the main and popular processes are charpy v notch test izot test both tests use a swinging pendulum pendulum hits the notched specimen positions in the machine the specimen immediately fractured in the notch more energy is absorbed by tougher specimen during the fracture here the sketches are very good and self explanatory you can see the pendulum or the dead load which is falling over the specimen we have to put a notch because the fracture will happen from the weakest section due to the height of the heavy pendulum it attains a potential energy and that potential energy when the pendulum suddenly released breaks the material based on that value at which the fracture takes place the impact value is getting decided the temperature maintained there is a must to mention with the impact test value now comes the hardness test this test is used to know the hardness gradient across the weld zone and the parent material for comparison purpose the material is said to be very hard where indentation is difficult hardness of the weld and has will give an indication of the weldability of the material the more harder the material it will be more brittle and it will be very difficult to weld hardness also gives the idea about the correct selection of the welding parameters two common hardness tests are Baker's pyramid hardness test and Brinell hardness test. Here are some sketches where you can see the Brinell procedure, and at the bottom you can see the spots where we need to take the hardness reading from the weld. Few from the parent material, few from the has means heat affected zone, and few from the weld metal. When the indentation is done by a pyramid shaped sharp uh, indenter. it will be termed as vickers pyramid hardness test and when there will be a hard ball for indentation then it it will be termed as brinell hardness test vickers hardness test the test uses small pyramid shapes diamond indenter with an angle of 136 degree a force is applied to press the indenter into the surface for 10 to 15 seconds the force applied is variable from 1 to 120 kilo the diamond indenter leaves a pin tip size square indentation on the surface the size of the indentation is the indication of hardness of the specimen you can see the hardness machine used for this vickers hardness test for your reference now we will be discussing a bit about the brinell hardness test The test is carried out by facing the hardened 10 mm diameter steel ball into the surface of the specimen. The force used is 500, 1500 or 3000 kg for 15 seconds. As in built microscope with a calibrated lens is used to measure the width of the indentation. The size of the indentation is the indication of hardness of the specimen. nowadays we have also available some portable uh, pin type of hardness testing machine which we are generally using for measuring the hardness especially in case of second time repair for the weld materials that machine is not that critical it gives you an idea of the hardness for the weld metal the accuracy of the bigger machines must be more than the portable pin type of hardness indenter nick break test 
it can be done for the bar 12 as well as for the filler 12. Nick break test is used to evaluate the presence of well defect across the fracture surface. Two nicks, nicks means notches, are cut on each side of the weld. Test specimen broken by bending or striking with hammer. This causes the weld to fracture along the weakest section. The fractured faces are then examined visually. Fillet weld fracture test, which is also termed as hammer test. To evaluate the presence of weld defects across the fracture surface, this hammer test has been done. A saw cut is made along the center line of the weld face on a fillet weld. The specimen is broken by hammer strikes. Then we need to assess the fracture surface to assess the quality of the weld. This is a very popular test for the structural welders to be qualified for fillet welding. CTOD, the full name is Crack Tip Opening Displacement Test. This test is used to determine metal's resistance to initiate the crack from any notch. A notch is cut in the specimen. The specimen is subjected to high speed cyclic load to induce a crack at the root of the notch. Then study three points bending force is applied to open the crack. A clip gauge is fixed to the mouth of the notch to accurately measure the rate of crack opening. A load sensing device shows the load applied for this crack opening. The sketches are very self-explanatory. So in this video, I have gone through the most popular mechanical test we are using to assess a weld. Hope you have a basic idea for the mechanical testing. This is also related to welding procedure, qualification and WPS and PQR and the welder qualification. So it will be available together with the WPS series. If you like my video, the way of my teaching, please share and subscribe and like my video too. Inspire me more. Thank you. Meet you with a new topic in my next video. Signing off, Showman.